So what exactly is the initial claims report that's going to be released tomorrow, one hour before the market opens, and the continuing claims report? My job here on YouTube is to make things a little bit more simple to understand. I hope that I can get that job done for you guys. And if so, I hope that I earn your thumbs up and you can consider subscribing as I upload new videos every single day, simplifying what the stock market has to offer. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, tomorrow, Thursday, December 8th, one hour before the market opens at 8 30 a.m. There are two reports. One that's the initial claims and second is the continuing claims. They both get released right away. So right when the market opens, you can see based off of prior, um, uh, what's it called? Initial claims report and prior continuing claims report. Uh, we have the prior initial claims at 225K and then we have 1,608K. Um, the thing that you need to understand right now is, well, first off, let's explain what they are. So the initial claims is the first time someone is reporting for unemployment, right? Uh, there's unemployment benefits. Obviously, if you lose your job, if you get fired, you can file for unemployment, which means that the government's pretty much just subsidizing your income uh, and or you get you know, some form of monthly or bi-weekly paycheck, depending on how much it is that you made. That's the initial claims, right? It's the first time that you have been reporting uh, or asked to receive unemployment. So that's the initial claim, right? It's the, the first time that you've ever filed for unemployment. So the really great thing about this report is that it simply tracks how many first time people are reporting for unemployment, right? And it's good to understand that because, right, you have to understand right now the Federal Reserve is trying to slow down the economy. So, you know, everyone's really right now just focused on hoping that the Federal Reserve only raises interest rates 0.5% instead of 0.75%, right? They're hoping that the Federal Reserve will be less aggressive, but these economic reports have to come in worse than expected. It's a really backwards way of thinking, but remember, the Federal Reserve, they want the economy to feel the pressure. They want unemployment to go up, right? They want the economy to slow down. They want probably more people filing for unemployment, right? Not less people, because if there's less people uh, filing for unemployment, it most likely means, not directly, right, but it most likely means uh, that more people are probably losing their job. And again, that's where unemployment goes, uh, increases. So that's the initial claims report. Uh, and then we have the continuing uh, claim report, which just means that, you know, the number of continuous claims for unemployment, right? It's not your initial one. It's not your first one, but it's the, the ones that continue to report, you know, month after month and week after week and, and so on and so forth, right? So that's the initial claims. That's the continuing claims. And, you know, I just wanted you guys to have a little bit of a better understanding of why. Why is it important? Uh, it's not just a, a nice gauge to understand uh, the amount of people or individuals that are reporting for unemployment, but right as an investor, or as a trader, by being able to keep up with these uh, reports and being able to digest what it is uh, that is you know actually being reported, we can then have a better understanding if we want to be a little bit more aggressive or a little bit more conservative, depending on what is actually being reported, right? So if initial claims, you know, the prior was 225K, remember, we want the Federal Reserve the Federal Reserve wants the economy to feel the pressure. So we would hope, right, now it's a weird and it's a backwards way of thinking, but uh, we would hope that, um, you know, initial claims go up, right? That more people are filing for unemployment. And if more people are filing for unemployment, it's kind of a domino effect, right? That more people are potentially losing their job and unemployment will go up. And remember, uh, the Federal Reserve has a goal of uh, unemployment for next year being at like 4.1% or at 4.3%. Right now we're at 3.7% if I'm not mistaken. So they, they want unemployment to go up. And again, it's a very backwards way of thinking. I'm just explaining to you what the Federal Reserve wants. Someone in my last video got upset because I kept saying we. And by we, I, I literally just mean them, right? It does me no good if... if you lose your job or you know uh, or anything like that it's we need to understand that, that the entire market is moving on how the federal reserve sees the market right and they want the economy to slow down so right now good news is bad news and bad news is good news so a higher initial claims would probably cause the market to go up because the Federal Reserve can therefore justify being less aggressive because they are seeing that the economy is feeling the pressure, right? 
Federal Reserve is trying to put out the fire and they see that the fire is still there, right? So they can be less aggressive with the water they use to try to put it out. But if they see unemployment, uh, you know, initial claims is going down a lot and unemployment's actually going down and or staying the same, then maybe they want the economy to feel the pressure a little bit more, right? Uh, so again, this is what's going to gauge that. So um, yeah, I hope I did a, bit, a good job uh, breaking that down and having a better understanding of what initial claims and continuing claims is. Uh, it's a report that um, is reported pretty often. And I just want you guys to have a better understanding of the why behind it. So if you have any questions, you guys know how to reach out to me, send me a direct message via Discord. And that's going to be the first link in the description. If you guys don't have Discord and you prefer to message me on Instagram, that is that third link in the description down below. From reminder i am verified on instagram i will never message you first every account that messages you first that tries to manage your portfolio or that says hey what's up i can guarantee you it's a spam account it's a fake account no one that's part of my team will ever reach out to you if you don't reach out to me first right i'm verified on instagram and that is that third link in the description so if you have any questions you have no excuse on why you can't reach out and get started, right? Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about my private group, I trade live every single day. So I don't just post my profits. I do it live in real time. If you want to learn more about that to see if it's a good fit for you, check that second link out. And that is our Learn Plan Profit 2.0 team to one-time payment, lifetime access. And yes, you actually get to watch me trade live every single day right at market open um, this uh, these gifts that you see back here we're also giving away a ps5 and two thousand dollars cash we're hosting a giveaway for our apparel and if you want to learn more about that that is going to be that fourth link in the description for our christmas giveaway and part of this giveaway actually uh, one of these gifts are going to be gifted uh, on monday and it actually ends on sunday so make sure that you jump on that if you want to learn more about it click the fourth link in the description down below. And again, I am using the Webull trading application. And if you wanna download that, it is for free. You can use my link. You'll earn up to six free stocks when you deposit $1. And that's that fifth link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.